Tucano Golds, Tucano Mine in Brazil, mines its ore from a chain of open pits, covering more than 7 kilometers. Almost every pit, has a plunging continuation, of the ore chute. The results on this slide, only visualize the intercepts above 1.5 grams per ton, making me wonder if, in the years to come, this will be one sizable super pit. Further to the south, you will find the high-grade pit known as Duckhead, and this will be the focus of the video. Let's watch senior geologist, Roberto Cobra, brief CEO, Jeremy Gray, on the potential of Duckhead and its surroundings. That is still in the, in the head, just uh, b immediately below the beach. And it's never been really drilled like much, there's not many deep drill holes there, Yes, is there? there's not many uh, deep drill holes and we, we should um, keep uh, exploring, prospecting this. So this you, you think it could go depth, it could go deeper? It, ca it can go deeper uh, in, this, in this direction. Mm -hmm. It can go deeper here, this is just uh, 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 the north portion of the beach. Bit of it, yep. And uh, for sure, this part here that hasn't been modeled yet, there is a great potential to it, maybe another few pits or maybe one big pit here. Duckhead consists of two gold ore loads, the hanging wall load, and the main high grade load. The Duckhead pit was mined from 2013, to 2016, and was one of the highest grading open pits in the world at the time. The pit had a significant impact on the mine's production, and operating costs. In fact, Duckhead produced in excess of 41,000 ounces out of a total of 60,000 for the mine in just one quarter. This low-cost, high-grade pit enabled the company to pay out a $54 million loan in just one quarter. Tucano Gold's modeling, indicates that the mineralization, continues well below the existing pit shell. As can be seen in this cross-section of the pit, there are plenty of high-grade intercepts below, that are yet to be mined. In fact, two of the last holes drilled in 2016, confirmed the high grades continue well below the existing pit. Let's listen as Roberto continues his evaluation. So where would you start mining Duckhead? Oh. Where would uh, you? We, we should, uh, I think that we should start mining yeah. this, this part here. Yeah. Because uh, uh, we would have to, to do uh, uh, the minimum pushback just to get this one. Yeah. And we should drill, make a drill hole here in this yeah. line. Because yeah. it would cross all the all their bodies and confirm the data. Yeah. Uh, and here and after we, we've got uh, this area cleaned, maybe we should uh, make a pushback, a larger pushback here in order to access this high grade ore here. That looks much higher grade there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, a little bit more. Yeah. Because in this purple, this, the wow. the hotter the color, the greater the grade. Mm. But they would access. But how many holes have been put into this area here? Not many, eh? No, not many yet. Seriously, that's crazy. But but this data here, we could uh, confirm this. this but, but why is it so high grade in that area where they mined, and not here? You think was it just because of like yeah, drill holes? It's just because we are missing drill holes. We are really? hitting, missing data. Yes. The target that Roberto was pointing out in the first clip which could be two additional pits or one large pit, will be the area known as Goosebumps. This is a very interesting target, as the results to date are consistent with those of the Duckhead deposit. The following clip is a little longer. In this clip, Roberto will cover some of the areas around Duckhead. And this will be a short video aimed at demonstrating the current understanding of the mineral resources found in and around the Duckhead targets. Here is the Duckhead beach itself, and these are the potential or bodies uh, around it, okay? At this first moment, I will show you the, the samples that we have that are above half a gram per ton. As you can see, the beach area has been uh, very well sampled, and from the drill hole traces that I'm showing you now, you can see that the area as a whole has been uh, exhaustively probed. You know. Now I'm showing you the block model itself. Okay, uh, the duck head target body. Yeah, this is the, the body here is very well 
modeled and we understand that uh, it may not have lateral and further down continuity okay because there's lots of through holes already but there's great potential uh, in the areas surrounding it i'm showing you all the in situ resources huh? here here and here and also in the in this eastern part that has been partially mined out okay uh the report of all the sources show that um, above a uh, cutoff grade of 0 0.5 grams per ton, we may have uh, more or less 140,000 ounces with uh, a grade, a mean grade of 1.6 grams per ton. This area here, oops, here. I'll do a cross section. Uh, has been already uh, classified as rural reserves. Okay. Uh, it amounts to 30,000 ounces of measured indicated resources. And all the, the other resources are classified as inferred, not constituting any kind of reserve yet but uh, they amount to more than 100,000 ounces. Uh, and we are very confident that they may have the same potential that was displayed in the duck head target. Uh, I will do a cross section in this one here just for, just as an example to show you that we do not have enough data going down in order to confirm the, that the, our body has some continuity down, but it, uh, we, we, we really think that it can continue down as the, the, the other our body in the dark target has continued further down. So uh, when we say strategic drilling would be a couple of drill holes coming from the surface to here uh, going 200 meters down in order to confirm this continuity of the mineralization, okay? But as a whole, the target areas, uh, they, they really show lots of potential. Uh, so we aim to, to carry out um, some further mapping and drilling and sampling, uh, structural mapping as well, in order to have a better understanding of the resources, uh, refining the the geological models that were set by the previous company and also uh, converting these resources here from inferred to indicated and measured. And we are very confident that with uh, a few, few through hole sampling, uh, we can already have um, a better understanding of their bodies and everything while we can uh, access early the, da the, the, the portions of their body that are here just below the, the current peak. And that's a very, very rich um, area for sure. And guys, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, see you. Bye bye. Thank you Roberto, for the leapfrog presentation on Duckhead and nearby targets. The key takeaways for me, were the very high grade nature of the Duckhead deposit, along with the drilling results demonstrating there is plenty of gold still in situ, and more high grade deposits, likely to be found in the surrounding area.